good morning and welcome back to the Trucking Up channel. We are headed over to Caterpillar here in Decatur, Illinois. I'm gonna grab uh, some more stuff from them and head to the Baltimore port. We got here yesterday uh, sitting at the pilot in Decatur. Uh, we got here yesterday around 2.30. I was able to get a few things done on the truck. Uh, I had a few wiring deals I wanted to clean up, stuff like that. So, but yeah, I ended up falling asleep last night about eight thirty, eight forty-five, somewhere, somewhere in that area. And when I fell asleep, I fell asleep with all the lights on. I was watching. I think I was watching a YouTube video and I fell asleep during that, but all the lights were on and everything when I woke up this morning, so. Slept good last night. Anyway, we're gonna get on down the road and, uh, well, it's only like four miles down the road, but we're gonna get down there and get loaded up, hopefully. My appointment ain't till like 11.30, but this place isn't really, I think the appointments really matter. That's just so they can expect you, I think.
not looking forward to parking. Last time when I got into Baltimore, or uh, what, Saturday, it was uh, it was tough. I had reserved a parking spot there like two days before that though. And when I got there and seen that everything was taken, I pulled up Trucker Path and started looking at the reviews and everybody was saying that that used to be an all paid parking lot, uh, spot at that TA. And then when COVID hit, it went to just like free range. You know, everything was open or they didn't enforce it. And then when I got there and seen that, at that point I was like, okay, I'm screwed. Uh, and I was reading reviews where like they, they would go in to try to get their money back and they'd tell them you're SOL. So I was like, son of a gun, I just wasted $25. So I seen that little guy walking around checking trucks. It's like, okay, well maybe, maybe something can happen. So I went over there and asked him, you know, hey, what do you want me to do? There ain't no parking spots. And he's like, man, I'm trying. I said, I'm trying. I said, but there ain't nothing I could do except for tell them to move and put a sticker on their vehicle. Uh, it's up to, I think the manager's name or whatever it was, like Teresa. He said, it's up to Miss Teresa on whether we uh, try to tow them or not. He said, but half these trucks in here don't have drivers in them. So, you know, I can knock and knock and no one answers. And he's like, just hang out. Just hang, give me a few minutes. Let me see. Let me see if I can get one of them to move. And I was like, okay, no problem. And luckily he found a bobtail and got the bobtail to move. So, yeah, I was able to get a spot. I like, I'm not a big proponent in paid parking, but at the same time, with the way these truck stops look, I don't blame them one bit. So, I know if, if I owned the truck stop and drivers out here took care of the truck stop like they do, just shit, I'd be charging $30, $35. It's nuts. It's crazy. Like that pilot that I, I just st stayed at. That was the same one I stayed at about a, a two months ago. And there were piss bottles everywhere I mean just trash everywhere yeah, they got a stack that that pilot don't have a, a tire shop but they have a stack of tires behind the uh, behind that pilot of probably eight or ten tires you know, blowouts you know ball tires and you know what people do they don't want to pay to take the tires with you know, or to, to, to dispose of the tires when they get a tire change so they throw it on the trailer. When they get to the truck stop, they just set it off behind the trailer. And then it's up to the truck stop to, to deal with that. Anyway, I rambled on too long. Hopefully we'll get loaded up here pretty soon and we'll be on the road. I'll let y'all later. I think I might make some people mad. Guy just come over and got me. It's been like 10 minutes. All of these other flatbed and stepdad guys that's been here, well, two other flatbed and st uh, one stepdad guy that's been here before I got here, still waiting. Oops. Not my problem, though.
again, same thing. Fuel tank, something. I don't remember what that's called. Uh, let's see, what's it called? I think that's like the hydraulic system, but. RH platform, whatever that means. And then this little crate, that little crate, and that's the cab. I know that. But anyway, we got to run back over to that next building and get uh, get our paperwork. This is this is the spot where uh, South Georgia Hotshot uh, came. Robert, oh, I just hit myself. Mm with the dang uh, bar. Anyway, yeah, this is the place Robert came and uh, when his trailer brake, brake locked up on me. But anyway, I'm gonna put the uh, the bar up and I need to scrape some of the rocks off like that. A little bit there. That way I don't cause the windshield crack going down the road on somebody else's car. I know I'd hate that, so. Anyway, see y'all in a little bit. Paperwork, hit the road. Man, y'all see that uh, International right in front of me? Them things are starting to grow on me. I thought they were kind of ugly there for a little bit, but every time I see them, they're, they're looking better and better. check into check into something like that the old international uh what is that 9400 eyes i believe is what they are oh, i say check into it i mean i'm pretty content with this truck let me let this truck come on in if any if anything you know, I just, I'd like to convert this to a tandem. Especially getting that other trailer. the motor and the and the uh in the frame 
So I can get a new fuel pump for this truck for $435, brand new. So I'm gonna, on the way back over to, uh, to Baltimore today, I'm gonna stop at Stoops there in Indianapolis where I bought that fuel shut off solenoid. And I'm gonna go ahead and return it because that was 140 bucks. So I'm gonna get my money back on it and then I'm just gonna order a fuel pump and, uh, and change that fuel pump out. And that, that comes with a new fuel shut off solenoid. So, uh, that and fuel lines are really the only other thing it could be. We are back. Got checked in. Took them about, uh, I, I would say an hour to get to me this time. So a little longer, but uh, yeah, they come and got me. Pulled me around. Fixing to get this stuff unloaded. And then we'll be over to building 602A. And uh, check in to get a reload. me down here I don't guess the guy driving the, uh, the vehicle that's escorting me to where I need to be knows where I'm supposed to be forklift driver hauled butt over here and he's like hey 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 back up back up go down this uh, this aisle which is the aisle I went down the other day too you can see all the equipment over here that gets delivered
this. And that concludes another one. Appreciate y'all uh, hanging around and watching the video. If you ain't subscribed yet, hit the little red button. That way you can see more of me. Who wouldn't want to see more of this sexy beast? Just say, just say. <laughs> anyway, that'll do it for this video. One down, not low to go. Good thing is, is my dead head is like 0.2 miles. Right around the corner. Anyway, y'all have a good one. Y'all stay safe. We'll holler at y'all in the next video.